and I think we're ready to begin. Okay. Good morning. Firstly, I want to wish everyone a belated Merry Christmas. And secondly, for those that have been with us the last few years, it looks like we have lucked out with a little bit of heat wave. Uh, hopefully the rain stays away. Uh, and I would also like to say thank you to everybody here. Uh, I appreciate uh, taking time out of your lives to be here. Certainly Dimitri, Diane, John, the chorus, my honor guard, we, we deeply appreciate that. And much so for the, uh, the Russian families that we're here to, to acknowledge. Um, today I also want to welcome the Deputy Permanent Representative of the Russian Federation Mission to the United Nations, Mr. Dmitry Tomakov, is here today. I also want to recognize the Vice President of the Schill Institute, Mr. John uh, Segerson. And lastly, and certainly not leastly, Diane Saw. Because without her, none of this would have happened. On behalf of the Bayonne Fire Department and the City of Bayonne, we would like to welcome all participants to today's ceremony. Unfortunately, Father Fensick could not be here today. Uh, to give the invocation, and he used to sing a beautiful Russian hymn. I am not even going to attempt that. I will certainly just say a, a short prayer um, that I found that deals with music. O oh Lord, I pray that the music I make or the songs that I sing are always from my heart to you. I pray that as we sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, we genuinely dedicate each melody to you. I pray that I always give you thanks for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. I will ask, now we ask the Bayonne Fire Department Honor Guard to present the colors. will now sing both national anthems.
as always, that was very beautiful. I would now like to ask Mr. Trumpoff to say a few words. Dear friends, today is the fourth time uh, we get together to honor the memory of the victims of the plane crash that took place in the skies of Sochi on 25th of December 2016, four years ago. Back then we lost almost all members of Alexander Ensemble and uh, Ms. Elisaveta Glinka, a renowned philanthropist uh, in Interim Walker, as well as journalists from the Russian uh, leading media outlets. I would like to express our deep appreciation to the Schiller Institute and to the Fire Department of Bayonne. Annual meetings like this have become our good tradition, uh, which makes them all the more significant because the biggest test is the test by the time and we're succeeding in this test. We commend the efforts of the American community to preserve the memory of the outstanding Russian musicians and luminaries of the United States. Uh, this year, even the coronavirus pandemic couldn't stop us from gathering, uh, neither the weather and solidarity and mutual help are especially needed today when the humanity has faced an unprecedented threat. And of course, for the sake of our common future, we have to erase all dividing lines and channel all the creative forces. Russia and the United States, uh, the Security Council, permanent member states, are uh, having a special responsibility for sustaining global peace and security. And in this context, we have to make our best efforts to stand by and to make our best efforts to uh, rejoice when the people of our two nations get together and have memory for each other and for their history. Uh, this is why it widely resonates in our hearts when the American people empathize with our loss and grief along with us. So may the memory of the deceased heroes live forever and the hope of the light that they can fade to the world will procreate in the souls of those who admire their talent and dedication, both in Russia and the United States. I thank you very much. Thank you, Dimitri. I'll forget if you know, that's what happened next year. Uh, we are here once again to give our condolences and sympathies to the families of the Alexandrov Ensemble and to the people of Russia. Everyone here proves, I believe, that this small remem remembrance shows our humanity towards one another. And God knows we could use more of that. Once again, it is fitting we are here at the 9-11 Teardrop Memorial, since the creator of this memorial was the uh, Russian sculptor Zorov Tersikhelov. <clears throat> In the darkness after 9-11, this monument helped to bring peace and light to many people who visited. We now just want to pay that forward to the families of, of the Russian people. This small token of our sympathy is heartfelt. On a personal level, I am honored to be here again uh, as I actually worked at 9-11, and this monument means much to me. May the serenity and hope that I feel when I am here be conveyed back to the families in Russia and the Alexander, Alexander of Ensemble. Munich has meaning, and this quote by Billy Joe conveys it better than anything I can say. Quote, I think music in itself is healing. It's an explosive expression of humanity. It's something we are all touched by. No matter where we are from, everyone loves music. And it is at times like this that we are not defined by our nationalities, but by our humanity. We feel lost and genuinely wish peace and happiness to one another. I will try once again just a little phrase that I learned from uh, a friend who speaks Russian. Nasha Laguf i Molovetsi Svami Krajni Vas Gospot. I would now like to uh, introduce Mr. Uh, Segerson, who would say a few words. Hello. 
As we gather here today, four short, tumultuous years after the tragic loss of the gifted musicians of the Alexandrov Ensemble, along with journalists, military people, a beloved relief doctor, and the crew, 92 in all, on their way on a mission of mercy and assistance to the people of Syria, I'm reminded of how thankful we should be that indeed we live in the best of all possible worlds. But how can anyone possibly assert that we're now in the best of all possible worlds in the face of the man-made disasters that have befallen us, especially since the horrors of September 11th, 2001, which this teardrop memorializes and since the terrible ensuing geopolitical wars based on lies and deceit, which not only engulfed those wonderful musicians, but has thrown entire nations into chaos and misery. How can we assert this now, at the end of this anus horribilis, this horrible year, this awful year, bringing with it a deadly pandemic along with starvation, now threatening to snuff out the lives of 270 millions of our fellow men, women, and children. Yes, we can assert this, that this is the best of all possible worlds, if we consider the following. Imagine another world where the deaths of 92 human beings, or even of 270 millions of human beings is a good thing, something to be desired. And imagine a world where memorials such as this one, remembering and honoring those who perished, are of no consequence. Imagine a world in which friendship among nations is a fool's errand, and where mutual suspicion and hostility is the most desirable condi condition among men and among nations. Now, such a world may exist in the crippled imaginations of some misguided individuals and institutions on this planet. It is, however, scientifically, demonstrably the case that this, that is not the real world. Their world is an imaginary dead world, a bestial world. Their world, whereas the real universe is characterized by life, by development, and by, the America, and by what the American founding fathers termed the pursuit of happiness. Ours is a universe which joyfully responds whenever we have discovered a new wonderful principle of its operations. It's also a just world where we can be confident that meanness and ugliness will in the grand course of history, inevitably go down to oblivion. As the German poet Friedrich Schiller wrote in his poem, Mania, set to music so beautifully by Johannes Brahms, which the Schiller Institute NYC Chorus performed at Carnegie Hall just one year ago. Let us therefore rejoice with all solemnity that our tribute here to the 92 souls and to all kindred souls who are now walking among the stars will help to strengthen bonds of friendship, trust, and mutual assistance, not only between our new two nations, Russia and the United States, but among all the men and nations of goodwill. For as Schiller also said in that same poem, even a song of lament on the lips of the beloved is truly great and magnificent. Thank you. Thank you, John. Uh, it just just occurred to me uh, as I was standing here listening to this um, for 9/11, and, and the motto is never forget. But maybe what we should do to honor. The Alexandro Ensemble is to come up with our own phrase, and instead of never forget, always remember. Right? And over the last four years, we've seen you all here, and that's what we need to continue to do. Is, like Dimitri said, it's the test of time. And the more we come back, the more we honor those people.
Oh, it just hit me as I was going in here. I wanted to share that with you. Uh, I'd now like to ask uh, Diane Stark to uh, speak. She has a letter from uh, Mrs. LaRouche, who is the uh, chairwoman of the Schiller District. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good Greetings to the memorial for the Alexandrov Ensemble of Song and Dance from Helga Zepp LaRouche. The world must never forget the 92 plane passengers, including the 64 heroic members of the Alexandrov Ensemble, whose tragic death occurred in a plane crash four years ago as they were on their way to Syria to support the Russian army, which itself was on a mission to undo the consequences of an interventionist war. Because it is the message of beauty and solidarity the Alexandrov Ensemble stands for, which gives the hope that the present awful relationship which exists presently among too many nations in the world can be replaced by a better one. The four years which have passed since the tragedy occurred have seen an avalanche of accusations against Russia including several years of Russiagate, designed only to prevent a decent relationship between the United States and Russia, all of which was based on lies, intrigues, and manipulations. While not a shred of evidence could be produced, and many of these allegations have disappeared without any ado, but this does not prevent the same circles from trying to defame Russia again and again. What is the aim of all of this? It is high time that we use the words of the Ninth Symphony of Beethoven. O oh, Freunde, nicht diese Töne, lasst uns angenehmere anstimmen und Freuden vollere. O oh, friends, no more of these sounds. Let us sing more cheerful songs, more full of joy. Let us work in the still ongoing Beethoven year which has now been extended due to the COVID-19 pandemic to elevate the relationship between the United States and Russia in the spirit of the memory of the Alexandrov Memorial and that Ninth Symphony and proceed with the intention of Schiller and Beethoven expressed in the Ode to Joy, Alle Menschen werden Brüder, all men become brethren, and find a way to address the common aims of mankind. Thank you, Diane. Uh, now the chorus is going to sing uh, Memory Eternal, I believe. Okay, and then we'll do the uh, laying of the wreath, and that will uh, conclude our ceremony. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I believe everyone spoke. Uh, Merry belated Christmas and then also Merry Christmas. Uh, Take care. Guys. Uh, so God bless everybody. Uh, peace on earth and happy new year. Thank you. Thank you.